Assured Income for the Severely Handicapped, Wikipedia Article Audio The Assured Income for the Severely Handicapped is the legal name of a social welfare program and service offered only in Alberta, Canada, to nearly 46,000 Albertans. The AISH Act legislation, proclaimed on May 1, 2007, and updated as of November 1, 2010, defines a severe handicap as adult Albertans with a permanent disability that severely impairs their ability to earn a living. The legal definition in the legislation defines severe handicap as an impairment of mental or physical functioning or both that, in the AISH director's findings, causes substantial limitation in the person's ability to earn a livelihood. Also, he slash she is likely to continue to be affected permanently because no remedial therapy is available that would materially improve the person's ability to earn a regular livelihood. The final decision on a client's file status is made by the AISH director, after receiving any relevant medical or psychological reports from a qualified health professional. It is important to clarify the definition of minister responsible in so far as Alberta legislation is laden with intricate, interwoven provisions to give considerable legal and discretionary authority to the minister and the associate minister, as provided for in respective acts and regulation. History Benefits In the 2004 Alberta provincial election, AISH was the subject of some controversy following supposedly derogatory remarks made by Premier of Alberta Premier Ralph Klein, stating, of a group of AISH recipients, they didn't look handicapped to me. It is also important to note that the Alberta AISH program has been widely known to force its recipients to remain below the poverty line. Due to the lack of accountability, Within the Alberta government, the AISH legislation also prevents clients from seeking adequate, and fair, due process during the appeals process. Clients may appeal any decision against them, but that the board will not grant them any form of reconciliation as their legislation prevents them from taking any real form of action. Clients will also be held accountable for any, and all errors which are made by employees of AISH and the department from which it operates. The result of this will force clients into greater poverty as AISH takes every opportunity to claw back funds from the most vulnerable Albertans. The AISH program, established in 1979, provides financial and health-related assistance to eligible adult Albertans with a disability. AISH was the first program in the country designed for the permanently disabled. It was unique as there were no asset limits. In 1998, a $100,000 assets limit was introduced to AISH, as politicians became concerned over millionaires on the program. In the 2004 provincial election, AISH was the subject of some controversy following supposedly derogatory remarks made by Premier Ralph Klein, stating, of a group of AISH recipients, they didn't look handicapped to me. It is also important to note that the Alberta AISH program has been widely known to force its recipients to remain below the poverty line. Due to the lack of accountability, within the Alberta government, the AISH legislation also prevents clients from seeking adequate, and fair, due process during the appeals process. Clients may appeal any decision against them, but that the board will not grant them any form of reconciliation as their legislation prevents them from taking any real form of action. Clients will also be held accountable for any, and all errors which are made by employees of AISH and the department from which it operates.
the result of this will force clients into greater poverty as AISH takes every opportunity to claw back funds from the most vulnerable Albertans. After winning the 2012 Alberta provincial election, Premier Alison Redford decided to shift the ministry responsible for the AISH program, from seniors to the new Human Services Ministry. The benefits listed below for AISH recipients can be all or partially given to each client, based on need and on the discretion of the AISH director. Also, as long as the AISH client has personal total net assets of less than 100,000 Cordobas, these benefits can be given to him slash her. To verify that the AISH benefits are given to the properly selected clients, an honor system financial update must be given to his slash her assigned AISH worker every calendar year. In other words, the AISH recipient must declare any monetary assets in a given month's bank statements of transactions, in which an AISH base amount was deposited into. Monthly Income A client can receive income from the National Canada Pension Plan Disability Benefits, while receiving the AISH monthly income and its health benefits. The CPP amount is deducted dollar for dollar from the AISH benefit. When the AISH client reaches the minimum age of 65 for receiving full CPP, all AISH benefits terminate and the client's file is permanently closed. Every AISH recipient receives a base monthly payment of 1,588 Cordobas as of April 1, 2012. However, for those living in an approved living facility, the maximum base monthly amount is 315 Cordobas plus the monthly accommodation rate cost. Monthly Income Comparisons Also, in addition to this monthly payment, a recipient can receive net employment income up to 800 Cordobas per month without his slash her AISH income being affected. For families, it is up to net income of 1,950 Cordobas per month. For a client making net employment income between 800 Cordobas and 1,500 Cordobas a month, there is a 50% exemption of AISH income, for the maximum total income of 2,738 Cordobas a month. For families, the same 50% exemption applies to those making between 1,950 Cordobas to 2,500 Cordobas net income, for that maximum total income of 3,813 Cordobas a month. Along with AISH in Alberta, British Columbia, Saskatchewan and Ontario have basically similar income support for persons with disabilities programs. In BC it is called the British Columbia Employment and Assistance for Persons with Disabilities, the Ontario equivalent is called the Ontario Disability Support Program, the Saskatchewan equivalent is called Saskatchewan Assured Income for Disability. The BC program gives their individual clients 906 Cordobas a month. The Ontario program provides there's 1,098 Cordobas a month. The Saskatchewan program gives 931 to $1,064 a month. AISH ends at 65. Several months before AISH ends, at the age of 65, applications should be made for all available pensions. Old Age Security and the Guaranteed Income Supplement can be calculated by visiting the following Government of Canada website. https slash slash www.canada.ca slash n slash services slash benefits slash public pensions slash cpp slash old age security slash payments dot html note.
AISH also expects an individual to collect any pension that is available before the age of 65 and then report this pension to AISH. Pension Calculator The old age security amount for a single person, who has met the resident requirements for full old age security, is currently $585.49 per month. If a person has no other income, then the guaranteed income supplement will be an additional $874.48 per month. These two amounts total to $1,459.97 per month. Conditions for full old age security can be found at the following Government of Canada website. HTTPS slash slash www.canada.ca slash n slash services slash benefits slash public pensions slash CPP slash old age security slash benefit amount dot HTML. Health benefits If a person worked and became disabled, the CPP calculations available through the CRA login for individuals may not be correct. If a person does receive the CPP disability pension a further calculation must be made to account for the years a person was disabled. First estimate your expected yearly income after the age of 65, excluding OAS and the GIs. Reference your income estimate to the combined OAS-GIs pensions on the following Government of Canada link. HTTPS slash slash www.canada.ca slash n slash services slash benefits slash public pensions slash CPP slash old age security slash payments slash tab 1-1.html Prescription medications Examples of calculations A single woman, Kathy has a small work pension which pays her $2,400 yearly. Kathy can expect a combined OAS-GIs of $1,351.97 per month. A single man, David, retires but earns $12,000 a year part-time. He could expect a combined OAS and GIs of $824.53 per month. Please note, conditions such as time in Canada and marital status can affect these calculations. If requirements are meet, and no other income is available, then a person can expect $1,459.97 per month as a minimum. Remember, when your future is concerned it is best to check with the Government of Canada about what you can expect at retirement age. The following sections below are the main essential benefits an AISH recipient can have access to, along with the base monthly payment. Most prescription medications are paid for by AISH benefits. The majority of what a doctor will prescribe from common antibiotics, to such medications as Ritalin and Zyprexa, is covered by AISH. However, there are medications, generally, although not always, newer medications, that are not covered by the benefits. Medication coverage is decided upon by a government committee. Dental Coverage AISH allows for a bi-yearly, dental checkup and cleaning. In addition to this, AISH benefits also cover necessary fillings. Optical Coverage AISH allows one routine eye exam and a new pair of eyeglasses every two years. For AISH recipients that need diabetic supplies to manage their diabetes. AISH benefits will cover fees for ground ambulance service to the nearest hospital which can provide the medical treatment required. AISH clients are exempt from paying their cost portion of items, subject to AADL approval. Essential Diabetic Supplies 
Ambulance Service Alberta Aids to Daily Living Subsidized Transit Five cities and towns and one county in Alberta currently have subsidized transit options available to AISH recipients. All transit systems involved require that AISH clients verify their status as current AISH recipients, before he slash she is given a subsidized monthly pass.